The next day started off cloudy and rainy. Now, when people get stuck in their campers on campgrounds, they start watching TV and uh, getting drunk and doing drugs and such. Now, I wouldn't do such a thing, so especially with the kids. So we went ahead and explored the campground a little bit. What is it? Some kind of what? A telescope. You think it's a telescope? Did you know that cats have a top speed of 48 km per hour? Did you know that ducks have a top speed of 60 km per hour?
What's the best ice cream you've ever had? What flavor would you like? Um, I don't know. I haven't tried all of them in the world. Oh, wow, 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 there we are. Lately I've been hearing a lot about flat earth and the moon just being some kind of flat thing that somebody controls and makes makes it go across the sky. So I recently purchased a lens which works out to 107 times zoom and I zoomed in on the moon there in Lagos when it was at its fullest. And as you can see it does look pretty rounded towards the edges. So I'm about 95% sure that the Earth is a ball and the Moon also is. But, you know, if somebody actually made that st all that stuff up, um, they did a pretty good job at making it look round uh, at the edges. The other thing that I found pretty cool was that I had set the camera on a tripod and you can actually see that Moon moving. Or is it the Earth? Or maybe it's both. But it really kind of blew me away. Yeah. Look, it's moving to the side, right? Daddy, can we move it? Yeah, tiny bit. Wait, carefully, carefully. I'll just move this part here. Whoa! Okay, we'll move it to the other side. And then it's gonna move. Is it still moving? It doesn't look so good, huh? Yeah, wait. See, now it looks best. See those little craters there right on the edge? Yeah. It's a ball. You know that, right? It's a big yeah, ball. Yeah, it's like a gigantic ball. Yeah. And now you can see little craters there. Whoa. And it's moving to the side and a little bit up to, I think, a little bit like this way. Oh, that is cold. Yeah, go back inside. Right, we can watch the video together sometime. Do you take video? Yeah, yeah, I'm taking a video. So I'm gonna go for a bike ride to Luz, Portugal. Luz. It's pretty light. I like to ride my bike without a helmet. I like to ride my bike without
So it looks like there's indeed a path up to that cliff, to that mountain. How cool would that be? Oh yeah, I got the drone too. Oh, that looks so nice. Unreal. Whoever made this, uh, respect.
Lagos Zoo parking lot. Now, some people might say Lagos. Do I look like the kind of guy who would say Lagos? No. Do I look like the kind of guy who eats broccoli for breakfast? No, but yes. Sometimes appearances can only take you this far. So there's your advice for the day. I don't really have anything important to say, so you might want to go ahead and skip forward to this number of minutes because there will be some nice footage of Lagos and the surrounding area. Now, you might be asking yourself, why is he in the Lagos Zoo parking lot and not in the Lagos Zoo? It's 18 euros admission fee for an adult, 14 euros for kids. That adds up to a number right above 50 somewhere. If you go to Aldi these days, they currently have a remote control car for 22 euros 99 cents. So instead of going to the zoo, you could get almost around three of these cars. And they don't even look that bad. They look like they might work pretty well and last for a few hours. The rest of the family went into the zoo. I took a nap in the van. It was a nice nap. Do I regret not going into the zoo? Do I regret being such a cheap ass? Not really that much, but a little bit, yes. There might have been some pretty cool animals in there. There are also some pretty cool animals outside the zoo. So today I'm gonna pay close attention to the animals outside the zoo. As you can tell, I'm still in the parking lot of the Lagos Zoo. It's been three hours. Do I regret more not going in for 18 euros? A tiny bit more, but it's still cool. I'm still in the Lagos Zoo parking lot. It's been about three hours now. Does it bother me now that I didn't? 
to go in a tiny bit more than before. I'm still in the Lagos Zoo parking lot. It's been about three and a half hours now. And if there was a bother scale that goes from one to 10, I'm at about a six right now. So it's not really that bad yet. I still have a few pistachios left, but it's running low. I've been thinking about those 2299 remote control cars from Aldi quite, quite a bit more, and they sound appealing. Is it worth the 4.3 stars it has on Google? There's penguins. Is it a pretty? How cool is the zoo? Tell me. So cool. There was a lynx, there was penguins, there was. Do you get enough water in your mouth? 